like, hey, you fine? And Haley's kind of like, eh, 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 th that Urs Ursula, that's the author's name. <laughs> And today I'm here with a video all about what I'm planning to read this week. I kind of flew through my September TBR in like four days. I've already read a total of nine books and it's only September 18th right now. So I figured I would update you guys on what I was reading at this present time. So without further ado, let us get started. The first book that I have, my mom actually chose for me. She kind of just dug in through my shelves and decided that I needed to read the book. So the book is The Pretty One by Cheryl Clam. I'm about like 150 pages in right now. But it's about a girl named Megan Fletcher who has always lived in the shadow of her older sister Lucy. And Lucy is drop-dead gorgeous, she's a very talented actress, and Megan is not so pretty and overweight. One day, Megan gets into a terrible accident where she needs to have cosmetic surgery, which changes her entire appearance and also makes her lose all the weight that she was struggling with. So now, Megan is even more beautiful than Lucy, and things get a little complicated from there. Her best friend Simon is beginning to have feelings for her. The boy that she has been in love with since the first time she saw him is starting to pay attention to her. And Lucy's becoming a little bit distant. As each relationship develops in the book, the tension rises and Megan has to deal with her new life being beautiful. So far, I don't know how I feel about this book. Megan's really annoying and whiny and she just like really pisses me off half the time. And I'm not really connecting with Lucy or Simon or Drew. I'm just kind of meh about the whole book right now. It's, I don't know, I just, I can't decide if I'm loving it or hating it or just, it's mediocre in my opinion so far. But I'm only about halfway through, so maybe it'll pick up, maybe it won't. I guess we'll find out in my wrap up. The next book I am so freaking excited to start because I have been wanting to read this book for so long. It was on my most anticipated reads a long time ago and the author contacted me and asked if I wanted to review it for her. And I was like, heck yes I do girl. So she sent me a hardcover finished copy of it and I'm just like beyond excited about it. The book is Gemini by Sonia McCurgy. Yeah, I'm sorry, I'm probably butchering that so dang hard. This book follows Claire and Haley who are conjoined twins and they are complete opposites from each other but it's all they've ever known, so they find it normal. That's when a new boy named Max comes to their town, and Claire and Haley are considering getting the operation to not be conjoined anymore. The only thing is, is that this surgery is life-threatening. So, I'm so excited about this book. I have been wanting to read it for so, so long, and I was like so excited when Sonia asked me if I wanted to read it. So thank you so much to Sonia. And I'm like, oh, I, I'm so excited. Like, I, I cannot wait to read this book. It's going to be the next one that I read, like, ASAP. Then the final book is also one that the author contacted me asking if I wanted to review it for them. So I said okay because I thought it sounded pretty interesting. And it is The Perfect Partner by Ursula Le Cor. The book follows Vespasian, who is expelled from college. The only work that he is able to get is as a freelancer for local newspapers. The book also follows Corinne, who is very content with her life right now. She's working as an advice columnist at the local newspaper, and she's also working on the first draft of her novel. That's when the editor of the newspaper decides that Vespasian and Corinne need to be writing partners. The only thing is, is that they've known each other for their entire lives and they don't exactly get along. Vespasian thinks that Corrine is a prude and she's boring with all her bookish things and then Corrine thinks that Vespasian is lazy and no good and just an all-around annoying person. Sparks begin to fly when 
Corrine decides that she is going to enlist Vespasian in her novel writing for a very intimate scene, and then they get a letter from a woman who was poisoned by her own family. So it's like an enemy to lover trope, which I'm so here for, and it's a historical fiction romance, which I haven't read a lot of, so I was very intrigued by it. So thank you to Ursula for contacting me, and I am very excited to get to this. Alright guys, so that was my update on my September TBR. I know I kind of said that I was only going to read books that have been on my shelf for two years or longer, but then I got these two other books and I am beyond excited, so your girl is going away from what she said, as she usually does. Are we really surprised? I will see you all in my next video. Goodbye!